In today's video, we're opening the hottest set in Pokemon, Shiny Treasures. What's up guys, we're back with another Pokemon video. We don't do these very often unless it's over on Pokerux, my Pokemon channel, but we don't open Pokemon cards very often at all. So we have an opportunity thanks to Yugi Market, which Yugi Market sending me Pokemon cards, a little bit weird, but they actually do uh, Pokemon stuff as well. So if you wanna go check them out, their link will be down below. I'll have an affiliate if you wanna check out and buy some shiny treasures for yourself, whatever it is. Maybe you wanna go check out the Dark Magician Girl Duelist pack thing we opened the other day. So if you want to go check out that OCG stuff, go check out Yugi Market. And in Pokemon, they don't call it OCG. They just call it Japanese, and that's what we have here. We have the Japanese Shiny Treasures, which is releasing in English at some point, but hasn't yet happened. And there's over 170 shiny cards in here, shiny Pokemon, not just shiny like hollows, but like shiny Pokemon cards. And if you guys remember, Hidden and Shiny Fates both were crazy exciting because everybody wanted the shiny cards. There's like 170 of them in here, different shiny ones. So we're going to open this thing up. Where's my knife? Also, I'm going to be giving away every pull that we get from these two boxes of shiny treasures. I almost called it Shiny Fates. Just like the video be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite Pokemon we pull in this. And I know it's not a Yu-Gi-Oh video, so I hope you guys just enjoyed a little change up because when we had the opportunity to open a set like uh, Shiny Treasures, not Shiny Fates, I keep wanting to say that now. I feel like we got to do it. I mean, we got to do it. All right, let's open it up. And then I always hear that opening Japanese Pokemon is better. I mean, surprise, surprise, in Yu-Gi-Oh, opening Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh half the time is better. So it kind of kind of checks out. So I was like, I've never really done a lot of, have I opened any Japanese? I guess we opened the vintage Japanese, but back then it was a little bit it was more similar back then. Okay, what is happening? How am I opening this? What in the world? Okay, what is that? QR code for something. Scan it <laughs> at your own risk. It's Pokemon. It should be fine. Okay, how many packs is this? Probably on the box. But last time I tried to read how many packs it was, it was actually the nine and over age or whatever and they were like laughing at me so i'm gonna tr just count this time but now i won't be able to count that'll be embarrassing okay that looks like 10 all right let's try the first box and then we will go right into the next one i don't know if you need to shuffle these at all but i'm gonna do it for just for fun so pokemon while we don't do a lot of pokemon tcg content i am very familiar with pokemon due to my pokemon channel i've loved pokemon for a long time playing pokemon etc etc so i should know a lot of these pokemon the scarlet and violet stuff i'm still learning but maybe i'll know some of them and then you know kind of after gen 3 i don't know it super well but i know some of them you know from playing radical red and stuff so that's a doe duo obviously i don't know where the cards are going to pop up here this is uh it's some sort of fairy type i think i don't know that might be a psychic I, I think it might be a psychic i can't remember that guy's name this is another one i'm now one for three okay dodrio so okay both the same line there that's a nice reverse hollow star me definitely old school right there and then, oh, wow, Pikachu. Yeah, I never would have guessed that one. So we got, oh, and then how many different foils do you get in here? We got the parrot Pokemon. I feel like this is a pretty new one. I don't really know it super well. All right, so we just got four foils in a row. So I'm getting, there's a Drift Blim. Or is it? Yeah, Drift Blim's the big one. Drift Loon's the little one. There we go. I always forget that Drift Blim, or sorry, Drift Loon and Drift Blim, the line in general, are in Gen 4, because Gen 4 is kind of where I stopped, and the reason I stopped was I had a Game Boy Advanced. My mom hated the Game Boy Advanced. She didn't like that I played games like on them or whatever, because she was like, you're playing too many games. So when we got to Gen 4, there was a whole new system, and I originally got my Game Boy Advanced from my grandmother, and nobody bought me a Nintendo DS, and they were, and my mom wasn't going to, so I, never, I just never got one, so I couldn't play any of the DS games like platinum and uh what were the first two that platinum's the big version it's uh diamond and pearl there we go i'm struggling this is a pawn yard the little version uh we have the mail is it oh the treasure chest this is a scarlet and violet pokemon i remember because i played in the game and found that we have pineco we have some this is one of the leaders from scarlet and violet uh it might be like even the the champion i'm not sure because i haven't finished that game this guy looks really cool but i can never remember his name i think he's somewhat new i've always wanted to use that pokemon we have a sm small off maybe i think this is in pokemon go that's where i know this one from uh that's a uh fortress of course that's a very nice looking card look at that that's beautiful okay then we've got some sort of trainer with energies. The the Wu Doug Doug Luo Doug Wulo or something. What they call him? The new Scarlet and Violet version. See a lot of Scarlet and Violet. That is gonna trip me up a little bit, but I'm doing my best. All right, let's keep it going. I'm having fun so far. I know this isn't the normal Yu-Gi-Oh content, but you guys know I like Pokemon now. I've I've finally admitted it after many years of pretending like I didn't. Okay, here we go. That was. A struggle. I could not get that open. How many? Have we only have two packs. We got to speed this thing up. There's a Noivern, Mankey. Oh, what is this thing? Uh, Palafin. There we go. Palafin. A trainer. I don't expect me to know the trainers. I'm not going to know. There's a uh, Skiploom Jumpluff. There we go. 
Oh, there we go. That's nice. That looks like a shiny to me. Have we been pulling shiny? What do the shinies look like? Is this the... Oh, this evolves from that? I don't think I've ever even seen this Pokemon. This must be a newer one. I don't know what it... Well, I say newer anything after Gen 4 I could have missed, but I feel like I know Gen's one through six pretty well, or at least that, I, that they exist. You know, this is this is a Kilowattril, I think. Uh, that's Gen 9. And then a... Was this Ponyard? Is this Bisharp? I think that's what it is. That one's not too new. That's like a Gen 5, I think. That might have been in black and white. That's how I know it was from the games, not necessarily when the cards came out. Oh my goodness. There's probably a pull tab on these, isn't there? Yeah, I think there's a pull tab. I should be using that. Okay, let's keep going. We have Pidgeotto. We have Charmeleon. We have the Snoover. Looking good. We are recording still. We have a Raichu. It's always nice. Uh, oh, the, the salt guy. Uh, starts with an N, and it has like the, the salt abbreviation. I can't remember what it is exactly. Okay. Oh, there's another shiny. Okay, that is, uh, what is it? Um, what is this? Uh, yeah, what is your name? You're in Gen 7. You're from Sun and Moon. I'm revealing the cards. I can't remember exactly. There's multiple forms of this. I can't remember what the name is. Okay, Gardevoir. Very cool. EX. And, oh, this card, I, I remember that one too, Murkrow, but I can't, I remember that it exists, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, let's see if I can find the pull tab. There we go, that makes it, I made that a lot easier. Except now you gotta pull them around the cards, which is never easy. Did I, did I do anything to those cards? Okay, I did. and then it stops in the middle. See, this is why I don't like the pull tabs. It works a little easier with Yu-Gi-Oh, because it's the smaller cards, and you can kind of like, move them completely out of the way and just go down the middle not the middle but straight down okay i think that took me longer to be honest i'm gonna have to get used to that oh the pig a little uh oh no, no i can't remember not peppa pig but uh i don't even i don't even recognize that card there's the starter from gen 9 the little duck uh luxray maybe or luxio i can't tell which one that is sableye we got lucario and then a big flower. Oh, I recognize this. I recognize this from Radical Red. I've never actually seen the evolved form, so that's cool. And then the dragon. Um, dragon from Gen 9. There's a gold Dango at the back, I think. Yeah, the gold-looking dude. Yeah, what is that thing called? Quaxley? Quack, uh, quack, I don't know. Which one's the first one? And then the, the dragon is called... I even have one on my team in Scarlet and Violet. I can't even remember the name. What What is it called? This is tough. L little rats, little dog, Scyther. Man, why can't I remember the name of this thing? Oh, okay, Mimikyu, know that one. Ultra, is that, a, is that a something? And then Claude Zire. Claude Zire is a very annoying Pokemon. Ground poison typing, it's pretty good. What is that? Oh, that's the thing that the guy carries, the big one that the guy has in Scarlet Valley, right? The guy that talks to you for 30 minutes every cutscene. I gotta speed up, I'm taking a little too long. Uh, trying to identify Pokemon, I can. it can really take me all day. I'll just sit there like, oh, what is that called again? And then I'll forget that I need to keep going. Pikachu, we have a... Ah, oh, another starter. I can't remember his name. Don't know that one. That's a Basculin, maybe. Uh, just guessing. Uh, Abomasnow, I have a perfect one in Pokemon Go. We have the little dog. And then we have... Oh, this is the starter. This is the third form of the grass starter, which I can never remember the names. I've caught a million of them in Pokemon Go, and I still can't remember the names. Meow... Not Meowstick. That's something else, right? What is even the original one called? Spring Springatito or something like that? I don't know. That's probably not how you say it. We have Pidgey. Smala, we have Wugtri Wugtrio, that's what it was called. That's Wugio or something, I don't know. Uh, we've got a, is that a cast form? It kind of looks like a cast form. No, it's the keychain. It looks like a cast form in the middle of it, though. We have a Pelipper. And then, a t oh, this is the new version of Tentacool. Uh, the Tentacruel, it's hilarious. It's like walks on its feet. Yeah, that, that's, the thing's kind of weird, but also I love it because it's just so goofy. At first, you know, people are like, oh, the stupid Pokemon, they have ice cream cones and keys and trash bags. The more they do it, the more like I start liking it, you know? It's like, oh, it's just goofy. It's just fun, you know? It doesn't have to be cool. There's like, like look at that, the Toadstool, I think is what he's called. He's great. We have the Sneasel, the uh, something Hound, Hound, some, something Hound, yeah. And then the T Paldean Tauros. Wigglytuff, I love that, that's great. And then uh, Flamingo Guy and Cleffa. Final pack of this box, so far it's been good. If you guys want to grab some for yourself, I know this is not Yu-Gi-Oh, but a lot of you guys are Pokemon fans, I know it. Or maybe you're not, maybe you are you know you are, it's, you're very proud of it. Go check out the link and see if you wanna grab some yourself. There we go. What is this? I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know that either. Uh, okay, shiny, finally, we got another one. Oh, this guy, is this guy like a legendary or something? I'm gonna say that he's gonna be like some basic thing, but I feel like he's a legendary. And then, what is that? 
I've never seen this. Okay, so some of these got to be new. I've never seen that Pokemon. That's the little version of Kilowattro. All right, box number two. So far, been pretty good. A lot of these, it does definitely, like, have a lot of Gen 9 Pokemon, which makes sense. You know, you don't want to have, like, all old Pokemon all the time. Okay, that, that took me way too long to open. I'm struggling. The Japanese product, more quality and much harder to open. Let's just say that. English Pokemon packs are kind of hard to open, too, compared to Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Yu-Gi-Oh packs just, they fall open. Like, they absolutely want to be open. All right, we still got 10 more packs. So, 20 total packs open in this video i think we've gotten three shinies so far nothing like overly exciting for me because like i'm sure some of these are exciting but in terms of like stuff that i care about we have that's that guy we have that guy again Ponyard, i think don't know that we have a star me definitely know that oh there we go is that a shiny Noivern? Noibat turn. Yeah, Noivern. Shiny Noivern. That is a really cool looking Pokemon. That's my favorite card so far. I like that. The green looks really nice on this Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon are green in their shiny form and it doesn't look good, but this is one of the ones that actually does. So that's super nice. It doesn't look sick. It just looks cool. There's the treasure chest. Okay, that was a pretty good pack. That's a really good start there. Full art shiny. I mean, you cannot complain about that. Already good stuff. And then the uh, the radical red version of Noivern's insane. Like, it gets levitate. Well, I don't even remember what the real version is. Is it flying dragon? I think it's like, what is it? A ghost flying? Or, no, not flying because it gets levitate. It's ghost. Now I can't remember. I feel like it's ground or something. Ghost ground and then it has levitate. I don't remember. But it is a very good Pokemon. Pidgeotto, we have the double. That looks like a... A plant. I like that. Entei. Okay, cool. Lucario. Little Shatterfoil. And <laughs> Wigglytuff. We got it again. All right, EX. Uh, another Wigglytuff about to blow you away like the big bad wolf. The big bad Wigglytuff. What's up next? We got the Chameleon. Snover. Little Mice. We got Raichu. We got something I've never seen. Pelipper Shatter. And the Alakazam EX. Very cool. Now that we can print Kadabra again. Great. All right. I know it's been like a, a year since that, or maybe even more than that. But still, I mean, nice to see Kadabra back. Very cool Pokemon. Everybody loved Kadabra back in the day because it was literally insane. It was like the best Pokemon ever back then. I mean, until it evolved, obviously. But then you couldn't, you'd have to trade. So it's a little bit tougher. We have Pikachu. I think that's a Luxray. We have the champion. We have another Pikachu and a Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. That's Pidgeot with the, the, fr the not fro. What would you call that? Like a <laughs> backwards bangs? I don't know what that is. Reverse bangs. Okay. We've got, uh, it's just like Coco, or not Talon Coco, but it's something like that. We have Talon Coco is a different Pokemon. That's a Jump Luff, Electro. No, not Jump Luff. I always get that mixed up. Skip Loom. No, no, I was right. It is Jump Luff. It's not Skip Loom. Okay, we have a... Oh, this is the uh, evolution of uh, Dawn Fan. Yeah, the, the Iron Treads, I think his name is. Yeah, it's very goofy, but that's kind of why I like it. Still got five packs left. We've opened 15 today. We're speeding up a little bit here toward the end, so it's, you're not here all day, because I know it's a new set. It, it hasn't come out in English yet, but it's also came out like four weeks ago, so I'm a little behind because I wasn't planning on opening this, but then Yuki Market mentioned, you know, they had some. I was like, you know what? That'd be really fun. Is this a Toxitrell or something like that? Oh, a shiny. There we go. I don't know what Pokemon this is, but it's really cute. I'm a big fan of this. That's a nice Pokemon. And then, oh, look, a Noivern again. Noi it is Noivern, right? Noibat to Noivern? Yeah, it's Noivern. That's right. Just Noivern doesn't sound that intimidating. Like, for how intimidating the, the Pokemon is, it just doesn't really fit, I don't think. I feel like it should be a Noivern, should be the middle one, then it's like Noi Destroyer or something like that. I don't know. Wait, there's a Jump Luff. Okay. We got a, a Jigglypuff, we got a Dodrio, we got a dude, we got a little Doge. And then we've got the big version of the Fire Starter. Can't remember the exact name of those. I should know them. They're the starters. They should be the easiest part. But yet I don't, you know, don't open a lot of Pokemon cards. We just, I play with the Pokemon and we have them as nicknamed in the Nuzlocke. So I never learn their names. That's the problem. What is this? My Little Pony's like Rider or something. Okay, we have Slowpoke, we have Wingle, we have Slowbro. We have another dude. Oh, a shiny Pidgeotto. That's pretty cool. That's a classic Gen 1. I like that. Oh, and a Charizard. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, wait. This thing seems good. Okay. Whoa. 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 Look at it. It's like, it's not just like a EX, I feel like. It's really shiny. Maybe it's just, that's just how EXs look. Whoa. That feels like a good card. I mean, it's Charizard. So, you know, any version of Charizard is going to be good. But is this like, there's usually like five versions. So, is this like the best version? I would guess it'd be gold, maybe, if it's the best version or full art or something. I feel like now they do gold instead of like the shiny rainbow ones. Now they're in Gen 9. But that's probably pretty solid. I don't immediately sleeve a lot of things because it just takes a long time and you know it doesn't really do much if you're super comfortable with them 
But if it's that card, I'm going to go ahead and sleep that. Okay, we have an Abra. Noidat. We got the little keys. Jangalang. We've got something else. Kilowattrel. And the full form of the ga <laughs> the, the gas starter. The grass starter. All right. We've pulled a Charizard. We've pulled a shiny full art Noivern. I'm feeling pretty good about this second box. It's definitely better than the first one. Final pack. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more Pokemon videos, make sure to let me know. It's not ever going to overtake Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything, but... We might try to, you know, if there's a really hype set, we might open it up. We did 151, now we're doing this. And it's, it's fun to do it every once in a while. We have Staryu, we have Voltorb. We have that thing, whatever that is. We have another thing. Pal oh, Palafin Hero, maybe? We have the Mimikyu. Oh, shiny. Is that a shiny Mimikyu? That's nice. And we got something else. Okay. Oh, yeah, the thing with the giant fangs. I love this thing. Very cool. And then a beach balloon ball thing and a uh, gold dango. All right. That was quite the way to end that box. That ended out pretty insane. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto of Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.